My name is Zach Blackburn. I'm an instructor of graphic arts at Central Piedmont Community College. And today, we're going to learn how to register a screen uh, for screen printing. Things you're going to need for this, you're going to need the film that you burn the screen with. You're also going to obviously need your, your screen, a press, and some tape. So the first thing that we're going to learn how to do is how to place the film properly onto the pad. OK, so the first thing you want to do is you want to place the art so that um, it'll hit on the shirt where you want it to hit. Now, what we generally do is you, you set up the art on the palette, um, usually about four inches from where the collar is going to go. The collar usually goes right along the edge of the palette, so you want your, the beginning of your art to be about four inches from where that collar is going to be. Now, they say four inches or about a palm's length. It's about what, what I've got right here, and I just adjust it to the top of the art, not the register mark. So I line it up here, it's about like so. It doesn't necessarily have to be exactly four inches, but in the ballpark. And then also, you want to have your register marks lining up with that center line on the palette, like so. Then, just uh, tape it down into place so it doesn't move. Okay, so the next thing that we have to do is we have to make sure that we zero out the micro adjustments. The micro adjustments are will allow us to do very small adjustments to the screen to line it up to the, to the film. The first thing that you want to do is we have these two knobs here that are the locking device. I'm going to unlock them by twisting them and hopefully they're not too tight. So I was able to do that there, do the second one as well. So you got to loosen those up, otherwise the adjustments won't work. So we have our up and down adjustments on both sides. And what we're going to do is I'm going to twist this out. It's a little bit hard to see on the, on the screen here, but I want the end of this bolt to line up with the edge of the plate here. I'm going to do the same thing over on this side as well. So I twist it until... It's right there, the end of that bolt is lined up with the edge of the plate, like so. Now I got my side to side adjustments, and you'll see there's a little white mark on the plate right here, and you want to line that mark up with this bar right here. So I go to this adjustment, and I just twist it until that bar lines up directly with that line. Once I've done that, my micro adjustments. R0. So the next thing we're going to do is grab our screen and I'm just going to put it into the clamp. I'm not going to totally tighten it down all the way because we are going to be making some adjustments. But I just need to kind of put it into the clamp to see uh, where everything is on the press, namely the palette. So I'm just putting it in here, not really worried about its placement yet. So now I'm going to look at and I'm going to compare where the screen is versus the palette. So right now when I look at it, um, my palette, the image that's on my palette is farther out than, than the image on my screen. So I need to take my palette and I need to move it in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I grab the L-shaped wrench and there's two bolts right on the bottom of the palette right here. I'm going to take the wrench and loosen up those two bolts. So now the, <coughs> the pallet is loose and I can slide it back. Now what I'm going to do is I want the, the image that's on my pallet to be just slightly farther out from the press than the marks on my screen. And when I talk about slightly, I mean about an eighth of an inch, just give or take, just a little bit. And that looks fairly good right there. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hold the the boot of the pallet right up against the arm so it's flush um, to the arm again, and I'm gonna tighten it back up. Okay, so I've gone and moved 
my palette and it's in where it needs to be. Now what I want to do is, is get the art that's on the screen very close to the marks on the, um, that are on the palette. So I'm going to loosen up my screen and I'm going to move it to where to where it's pretty darn close. I mean, right now it's almost perfect, but just for the uh, for this demonstration purposes, I'm going to kind of put it off just a little bit so you can see whenever I do the uh, micro adjustments. So I got it pretty close. So I tighten, I lock down my, my screen. I'm not going to mess with the clamp to the uh, to the screen uh, anymore. So that that's that's locked down. So I'm not going to mess with that anymore. So now what I'm concerned about at this point, I'm not worried about getting it lined up perfectly just yet. I want to make sure that my screen is level and my off contact is set properly. So to do that, uh, I'm going to need my 9 16 inch wrench and uh, I'm going to examine my artwork or, or the screen as well. So when I look at it, I can feel on this side it's lower than it is on that side. So it's, it's not level side to side. In front to back, well actually front to back is okay, so I probably won't have to mess with that. So I got my side to side leveling I need to worry about. That's fairly easy to do. You've got two bolts right here at the back of the clamp that I need to loosen. So I take the 9 16 and I go and I loosen up those bolts. So I'm just loosening those up, and when I do, you'll see that the, the screen kind of just drops because all the pressure that's, that's held, holding it up has just been released. So to make adjustments side to side, you can see that the, you know, it moves up and down side to side however I need it to. So um, what I'm just going to do at this point is I'm going to hold it flat and tighten it back up. So I hold it flat, which is pretty much holding it level, right? And then I'm going to just go and tighten it back up. And now when I go and I feel it, it feels more level side to side. All right, for demonstration purposes, I went and I messed up the screen a little. I made it so that, that it's kind of jacked up in the front. So it's higher here than it is back towards the base. Now to fix this, we're going to go back to that same location where we set, fix the side to side. And I'm going to go loosen up those bolts again. So just make them loose. And the way to kind of think about this is our screen is kind of angled like so. It's angled at an upward angle. Now to make adjustments to this, we have this knob right here. And this knob only works, it doesn't really do anything unless these bolts have been loosened. So what we're going to do, if, if it's at an angle like so, we twist the, the knob to raise it up to make it more level. So I'm just going to come here and I'm going to twist it. And I'm, this is probably the hardest part about setting up this press because you've got to make an adjustment, tighten it back down and see if the adjustment worked. So. And it takes a little bit of experience to know how much of adjustment you need to do. So make the adjustment, tighten it back up, see how it looks. If it's better, well then, then you can move forward. But otherwise, then come and just make another adjustment. So I'm going to go tighten it back up. I'm holding it down flat as I, as I tighten so that it stays level side to side. And I tighten it up. Now. It's, it's really high off my palate, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my off contact. That's my off contact adjustment. If I want to lower the screen, which I want to do, I twist it in. And then I'll see what I got. So I twisted it in, and uh, it's a little low. You want your off contact to be about um, an eighth of an inch, and that's a little bit less than an eighth of an inch. So I'm just going to screw it out just a hair and then I'm going to lock it with that little nut right there so it doesn't move. Now my off contact looks pretty good, my, uh, my leveling side to side looks pretty good, 
and my leveling front to back is pretty good too. So now we're ready to move forward and do the final adjustments on the uh, registration. So now it's time to do the micro adjustments. So, because as you can see, if I, if I put my, my screen down, you can see it's not lining up perfectly, not even close. It's, it's totally off. So, if you use my technique, you can do this very quickly and easily. So, the way I'm going to start off is I'm going to, I'm going to take a look at the, the register mark closest to me, and I can see that it's off, right? So, I'm going to hold it down like so. I'm going to use this knob over here to make my adjustment. This adjustment moves the screen up and down. So, I'm just going to be looking here, and I'm going to twist and I'm going to twist it until the lines that are going this direction line up like so. See how they're lined up? I'm not worried about the lines going this way. I'm just worried about the ones that are lining up like so. So this side's done. So then I come over here. I'm going to look at this side. I see that it's off. So I'm going to come use the far knob in the back right here. And I'm going to come back to my art. And I'm going to twist it until the lines line up going this way like so so uh, I've done that that looks good I'm gonna go and I'm gonna double check my first one again because sometimes the first one gets knocked off see how it got knocked off just a ever so slightly so I'm gonna just make a slight adjustment there very good now all I gotta worry about is is moving my art side to side so I'm gonna, I usually look at my middle one here I'm gonna use this adjustment which is the side to side. Let's look back at our art here and I'm just going to twist it and it should line up very very closely and, and it does. So now if I look at my art it's pretty much lined up just right. Now if it's ever so slightly off because it's not perfect um, I just go through the pr I go through the process one more time. So that's what I'm going to do because it didn't. It looked just a little bit off. That's fine on this side. I'm going to go look on this side, and this is the side that we got off a little bit. So I'm going to use the adjustment that's parallel to it, and I'm going to twist it up just a little bit. That looks good. And now I just need to double check this side. This side's off just a touch. There we go. Now I'm going to do my side to side. Boom. Now it's perfect. So you might have to go through the process twice, but look, you can do that in just a matter of moments. It's very quick and easy if you use my patent to take. All right, so you, your, your art should be all lined up, you got it all registered. The last thing you want to do, make sure that uh, your clamps are tight, make sure that you lock your micro adjustments back. Once you've locked them, it's always a good idea just to double check, make sure nothing's shifted whenever you lock your micro adjustments. Double check that you locked the little bolt on the foot for the off contact, and basically you're ready to go. Last thing you want to do is just get some tape and tape up the underside of the screen for your register marks, and you're ready to start screen printing.